Hi, Shaver 1000 here, and Monkey. We got Monkey and Bruno's back there somewhere. Happy Memorial Day weekend, everyone! It's Sunday. We've got a boat on the back. We're heading to a lake we've never. Well, we fished the, this lake once, but we've never had. We've never been on it, so that's where I cut that turtle. That 15 pound turtle yeah yeah so we're gonna we're gonna go out here and check this lake out we just stopped and we got a bad wheel bearing on this side on the boat trailer so it's making a little noise but I went ahead and I greased him up yesterday so hopefully it'll be all right well I just stopped and checked it it's a little warm but it's not hot so we should be all right we're gonna stop one more time before we get there we're not that far away or we? so we're gonna stop one more time before we get there just to make sure and I think it'll be all right so I'll kick you back on when we get there hang tight guys we're going boating Okay guys, so we're here in Lake Pan, Lake Panasofki. Them guys are going that way. Yeah. Up there's the bridge where I cut that turtle off though. They're going to the lake. They're going to the lake? Yeah, that's the way to go to the lake. You wanna go to the lake? Yeah, this is this part's a river. I said a bunch of airboats are up in there. They don't slow down. They say it's really pretty though. Well, which way do you want to go then? I'd rather go this way and check it out. If we oh. have to, we can turn around. Go All right. Way. Well, I guess we're going up the river then. Yeah. Okay, I'll kick you back on here in a minute. Okay, guys. Yeah, I got to use my phone because well, I didn't even have the engine started yet. And this thing fell over and my battery flew out into the water. It's the only one I brought because Monkey says I bring too much stuff. So, um, this happened one other time, didn't it, Monk? Yeah. When you said I bring too much stuff? Yeah. Oh, I thought I learned my lesson the first time. I guess so. you didn't, did you? Well, I did. I did. I have plenty. <laughs> I'm sorry, babe. But I she just always says your camera didn't get in the way. She water. always says, "Why? Why do you bring so much stuff?" Well, this is why. But anyway, this is Lake Panasofsky, three miles wide, nine miles long. So we're going to boat around for a little bit. Maybe go over there to the other side and see if we can do a little fishing. We brought our fishing poles up there. So, all right guys, I'll be back with you. All right, so guys, right there. That's not supposed to be there. Is it, Monk? What? That. That. Oh, that? No. That's not supposed to be there. No. That is not supposed to be. This was going across the lake, kept losing power, and I was like, "What the hell?" It started pinging, and then all at once it shut, it pinged real bad and shut off. It was running hot, and I was like, "Well, it's pissing water like it's supposed to," and I had it running real rich, so I knew it wasn't running too lean. But this is my timing tab. One of the screws came out. I'll show you more later when I get home and uh, put another battery in my camera. Um, so, it was because, like, right there at the end when I let off the throttle, there was no in between. It was either wide open or idle. And it just shot right down to idle. I was like, what the hell is going on? Well, apparently, that's something else that they've done. They, that one's ready to fall out. Lost one. But apparently, they'd, they'd adjust the timing or something when that guy had it. Yeah. And uh, remember, they did all kinds of messed up stuff. They they charged him for stuff they didn't do. Apparently, they set the timing and didn't tighten them bolts. Well, it took almost two years for him to come loose, but... Uh, finally it just did it so and it got hot and shut down so that head's probably warped 
so anyway we're using the old trawling motor there and uh, we ain't got far now about a half a mile just on the other side of that there's there's a bridge there and then there's another bridge yeah. uh, we go under and then we'll, we'll load it up I won't be able to power on with this little trolling motor I have to winch it up on but that's okay I'm on my yeah. like I told her there's no sense in getting depressed and there's ducks and pissed off because at the end of the day you know when you do that you get depressed and mad about this it's not going to make it run so I figured well <laughs> I could use a little air right now <laughs> I can stand doing about 25 miles an hour but we're doing about three with this thing <laughs> yeah it was like on the way on the way out of here I was like I had it wide open and I couldn't get no more than probably maybe eight or nine miles an hour out of it I was like what's going on so anyway guys I'll kick you back on when we get up here at the ramp and get this thing loaded yep. okay guys if I would have found this out there I could have fixed it but it was up in there so anyway this is the problem Okay. So that's why when it was wide open and I'd let off a little bit, it would just go straight to it would just go straight to idle. See? It doesn't even start moving till there. And then when I'd back off it, see it would just drop clear down to idle. It didn't have this over here like that. See? So <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna set the screw in here and I'll mess with that later. I gotta retime it and everything. I hope it didn't blow up. It didn't lock up. Still got pretty good compression. Alright guys, so anyway, I was telling her, every time I go fishing, it costs me money. That was one of my Sony batteries too. It's like a $50 battery. I don't think this cost us any money. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully it didn't warp the head because it did get pretty hot. <laughs> uh, but if it did, I'll just take it off. I got another head gasket. I'll just take it off and mill it down myself, kind of like, you know, run it on some sandpaper on a smooth surface. And I may do that anyway. We'll see. So anyway, guys, Sorry that's all there was to it, but oh well. It happens. Uh, like an old monkey, I say, you need to film some of this because, you know, so people can see if they're watching videos of just people out having nothing but a good time and not realizing that sometimes you have problems, they'll go buy a boat and then when they start having problems, they're like, well, nobody else has. No, we all do. Just some people don't show it and we do because we're real life true people. <laughs> I could have fixed that out there if I would have found that screw but when I lifted it up I didn't hear it and I didn't see it so I was like where'd that screw go and now just now I lowered the motor down so I could show you guys that and I heard it tink and I was like it's still in there but that's okay so it's a great old boat look dry as a bone there it is I didn't even, as you can see, I didn't even have to pull the plug out. A little leak right there. That's it. Dry as a bone. And I think there may have been, one of these I think had a little bit of water. Unless Bruno was slobbering, he could have been slobbering because he just drank some water. But yeah, I mean, there you go. Alright guys, anyway again, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend, I'm gone for now. Y'all have a safe and very happy Memorial Day. Do some cooking now, have a couple drinks, enjoy yourselves. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye guys and take care.